family, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Scott Mendenhall. Here on the channel today, we're gonna to talk about which one should you get, the Pint, the Pint X, or the XR, or, or should you save all of your money and get the beloved GT that drops in this year? I'll give you my opinions and which one I would pick at the end of this video. Let's get it started. If you just got a one wheel, you need to do this with your friends. All right, hey, if you're brand new around here, we, we love one wheels. We drop content on the weekly about one wheels. We do product reviews, what tires are hot and what are not. We do everything. And then also we'd love to entertain you on Sundays at 8 a.m. with a race. This is where we, we really give you an escape probably from the world and the chaos and also show you what these devices are capable of and what you can do with your said friends. And so we invite you to uh, subscribe to the channel. Today, it is about the three current one wheels that you can purchase on onewheel.com. We're gonna give you the pros and the cons and the speeds and all those things and really my opinion on those things as we own all of them. We actually own every version of the one wheel except for version one. I would like to get that relic just to say we have them all, but we have the Plus, the XR, the Pint, and the Pint X. Let's start with the XR as it is still, for a few more weeks, the flagship one wheel. It's the biggest, it's got the biggest foot pad, the length is the longest, it is the heaviest, it is the fastest, and it has the most range, but by only a mile or so. Let's compare the XR and the Pint X really quick in that, the Pint X, really, the advantage to the Pint X is its torque, its takeoff, is spectacular. If you love that punchiness, then you're going to be lean towards that Pint X for sure. Now, overall top end speed, the XR will come in and catch up to the Pint X after it has a slower or more sluggish start. It's heavier, the torque's just not there. We've raced them. You'll see even here, you see it. You see that punch from the XR, or sorry, from the Pint X, but the XR eventually catches you. It's, it's unavoidable. The Pint X in its carvability is much easier with a much more rounded tire. It's the same tire that's on your Pint. So maybe you're sitting here thinking about, well, why wouldn't I just get a Pint? It's cheaper after all, but the range. If you don't want range anxiety, stay away from the Pint. It is a great, nimble ride, but that torque is not there that's in the Pint X and overall speed is is not there in the pint as I just am thinking through my experience on those. So uh, if I had to choose between the pint and the pint X, I would save a couple more bucks and get the extra range and speed and torque in the pint X for sure. Hands down, if I'm choosing between the two, save more money, get the pint X. I think that's not even in the equation any longer unless you're gonna pick up one used with a couple miles on it and it's not been beaten up, then man, get the pint. It's a great, it's a great ride. But the amount of miles you get, not even comparable to the Pint X. The Pint X almost doubles, even, even in windy and cold conditions as we ride here in Minnesota. Pint X is just where it's at. Now, where it gets a little sticky is that Pint X versus the XR. I personally like that torque in that Pint X. I like the size of it. The carability is so nice. It comes with the Pint mag handle, whereas the XR doesn't. You can buy the accessory and put it on there. So it's just an added cost. I do like the top end speed of that XR. There's something comfortable about my feet being on those foot pads. However, the heaviness of it to my style of riding, the, the getting into your turns and that carvability that you want, it takes a lot more effort. It's not overwhelming, it's not fatiguing. You just notice the big difference between you when you go between the two from the Pint X to the XR. You can change that ride by putting on a more rounded tire, go to a 5.5 tire on the XR and you begin to get a little bit more of that carving sensation that you get from the Pint X, but you don't have that torque, that, that pickup, you're missing it. And so if it's a short race of some sort, the Pint X is gonna win in the short distances. You give longer range races, the Pint X will lose to the XR because of the top end speed. The one negative to the Pint X is the pushback. It, it, it comes back so hard that it's hard to hit top speeds without being a little nervous that you're gonna fall on your face. And so the pushback gets you probably two miles before the top end speed, so you're around 16 miles an hour on the Pint X and you begin to back off because you don't want to nosedive. Pushback 
the danger of that in riding through it to hit your top speed is that it shuts off the battery because there's no more juice for the battery and you fly off of it. So it eliminates that top end speed, whereas the XR top end speed, 19 miles an hour, is easy to hit. The pushback is very subtle and you can get through it. Uh, much easier, but you run the risk of the battery again being exhausted, having no more power, and shutting off. But you can get to a higher top end speed safer. They both handle the cold and water elements equally the same. I do think the Pint and the Pint X is a much more polished product, a much more finished product when I ride those. No one ever asks me if I built that. When I'm on the XR, people ask me if I built that in the garage. And I get it, it it's, it, it's an older product. It is. For a limited time, still the flagship as the GT will drop in the next probably month or so. And then the XR, uh, they've already announced it. As the stock gets used up, they're making no more XRs. They'll service them, but you won't be able to purchase XRs. You'll be able to pick them up used. And honestly, right now, that market for used XRs is very hot right now because people are trying to put all their money into a big piggy bank to get the G. T, which is understandable. I've not rode the GT yet, but if I was in the market to purchase one, only one, would I purchase the Pint X? Would I purchase the XR? Or would I just put all my money together and get the GT? Here's how I see it. The GT is probably a month out of getting the product to the people that ordered it on day one. I've gotten DMs from people that are waiting till March right now to get their GT. So that would mean to me if you order today, you're looking at maybe middle of March for yours, perhaps April. And that's a lot of time floating that you could be on the Pint X and the XR. Here's how I would do it. I'd pick up a used Pint X, or probably not many used those, but I'd pick up a used Pint or XR to get me through the next four months to be able to learn how to float, mess the mess out of that one, scratch all the rails, and then save the additional money for the GT, whereas the GT offers superior specs in range and speed and torque and all those things, super amped about that product being released. But I have no experience on it, so I can't actually tell you that it's gonna be better. I'm just assuming it's gonna be better and really stoke our feet on that one. So today, I would pick up a used XR or Pint and learn and wait. If I am not wanting to pick up used, then I'm coming between the Pint X and the XR. Very close in what I would do. I think what I would do is I would purchase a brand new XR. I would change the tire to fit my more riding of wanting to be deeper carves and, and not much effort into it to change it to like snowboarding and surfing. That's what I would do. That Pint X is so much fun. And I still choose to ride that more than I do the XR. And some of that is because it's a shiny new toy. But when I'm going out to ride with XRs, I'm taking the XR. I really hoped the Pint X would have been able to keep up with XRs. It just doesn't. It doesn't have the top end speed because of that pushback. If you could eliminate the pushback, I think it would be much more fun in the idea that you can get that top end that is advertised without the risk of nose diving. So, to make sure you're hearing, I would purchase a used XR right now or Pint and continue to save for the GT. I think that thing's gonna be the cream of the crop, however you wanna say it, the cat's meow, whatever that phrase you wanna put in there. Save your money for the GT. That's me without riding it. I think one wheel, I know one wheel always knows what they're doing and they're always putting out great products that are, for the most part, safe when we stay inside the limits that they created with and a lot of fun. Can't wait to get my feet on the GT. Until then, I hope this helps you making your decision. Maybe you got a little extra Christmas money and you're like, what do I do with that? I hope this helps today. Like I said at the beginning, subscribe to the, the channel. We are always dropping one wheel content to help you enjoy and get the most stoke out of your one wheeling experience. And we love to give you escapes on Sunday at 8 a.m. where we drop a very funny, entertaining race. This week, you asked for it. We are taking Joey out and racing in the snow. It is currently at negative 11 today. We're racing tonight when this film is being filmed. And it should be about negative 20. We're gonna race in the snow. If he loses, he has to change his stock slick tire on his pint to a treaded tire and we'll film his experience of changing that out, which should be very entertaining. If you watch this channel, you know Joey, that guy. I